Hey everybody out here, this is kind of my first YouTube video. It's not going to be anything fancy because I'm not good at video editing and all that fun stuff. So we're just going to make it short, sweet, and simple and kind of pull a Joel telling vlog kind of thing. Um, if those of you who have been following me the last couple weeks, I've been working on a filament dryer. Uh, Kirby uh, went and told me about the filament dryer that the... Uh, Talman 3D has come up with, where it was a simple put a light bulb in a bucket and hopefully it gets to the temperature you want. You let it sit for a while and the filament dries out and everything's happy. But I figure there's probably a better way to do this than just put a light bulb in a bucket. We need to know what the humidity is, what the temperature is, control the temperature and hold it at that temperature. And then when enough time has passed, put it in an energy saving mode just to keep the humidity down until you can go remove it. So that's what this uh, control system does. The question is, is does it dry out the filament the way it should? So we're gonna put it to the test and if it works, fingers crossed, uh, I'll release the plans for this, a full write-up which I'm working on, on how to make one for yourself. It's not too hard to do and it's uh, kind of fun. So uh, this was, so this here is the, uh, Pikachu by Flowalistic. We printed this in nylon last night. It was my first nylon print, and it looks really, really good. So this is my baseline. This was nylon, bridge nylon, straight out of the package. So it should come dried, printed great, and we'll use this as our comparison to see how we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put some water and some filament and some nylon filament and I think what I'll do is I'll let it cook for four, eight, 12, and 24 hours, bag them up, and then we will go print with these and see how it does. Hopefully it does really well. So how are we gonna take care of this, uh, hydrating this, this nylon very quickly? I think I got an idea for it. So doing a little research, they say that nylon can absorb 10% of the outside humidity in about 24 hours and the humidity right now is probably 30 40 percent here in kentucky depending on if it's raining or not um, so we're going to speed things up so i've got here got four rolls of nylon um, not enough to do pikachus but what i think i'll do is i'll go print the 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter test cube because that should tell us we should be able to see what the quality is so we'll uh We'll take this and I think I have a way to hydrate this fairly quickly. We'll check back on this in 24 hours and get ready to put it in the dryer. Stay tuned. 